funny, the gateless kid. <laughs> From the Zen flesh, Zen bones, the second story. Hyakuju's fox. Once when Hyakuju delivered some Zen lectures, an old man attended them, unseen by the monks. At the end of each talk, when the monks left, so did he. But one day he remained after they had gone, and Hyakuju asked him, Who are you? The old man replied, I am not a human being, but I was a human being when the Kashyapa Buddha preached in this world. I was a Zen master and lived on this mountain. At that time, one of my students asked me whether or not the enlightened man is subject to the law of causation. I answered him, enlightened man is not subject to the law of causation. For this answer, evidencing a clinching to absoluteness, I became a fox for 500 rebels and I am still a fox. Will you save me from this condition with your Zen words and let me get out of a fox body? Now may I ask you, is the enlightened man subject to the law of causation? Hyakuju said, enlightened man is one with the law of causation. At the words of Hyakuju, the old man was enlightened. I am emancipated, he said, paying homage with a deep bow. I am no more a fox, but I have to leave my body in my dwelling place behind this mountain. Please perform my funeral as a monk. And then he disappeared. The law of causation is a philosophical principle which states that every change in nature is followed by a cause. It states the law of causation is a philosophical principle which states that every change in nature is caused by something, caused by something. It can also be expressed as every effect has a cause. The law of causation, every change in nature is caused by something. Yes, by something. Hence, our insistence that the person, when he said, is not with the, is not subject to the cause of causation. He became this and that. He couldn't melt with his family. He disconnected the monk, disconnected from the family. And when he disconnected, the effect has always has got a cause. And that created the destruction of the joint family and the family tree. They say every change in nature is caused by something, law of causation. Unless every change in nature is caused by something, every change in your character, every change in your samskriti, you can immediately find is caused by something. That something is when you don't practice your samskriti, your culture, Early morning when you get up, you have to make sure that you have to cleanse your inner parts by through your nostril blood, blood, nostril blood and through your stomach pumpings to clear the path for you to see the see properly, to observe through your eyes, to hear properly and the heart to function properly and the brain, every cell in the brain to answer, to understand. When you don't do it and you go sick, it stings. In Taiwan, when Sardaji was traveling in a bus, it seems, and the bus was forced to stop because people started attacking the Sardaji and asking him to get out of the bus. The reason was, they said, it was not, he was not stinking, he did not use his perfume, it seems. <laughs> when your body has got a perfume, if it doesn't have perfume, it stinks, and immediately people knows that you are going to spread 
diseases such is the manner when you do not practice your samskriti morning when you do not do your warming up exercise the body which is given cannot be stiff to go out you have to do your warming up exercise loosening loosening up all parts of body like your neck the eye the shoulder rotation the hip rotation knee rotation and then you do your stretching and then you go to your pranayama your stomach pump, kapalipan stomach pumpings you cleanse the internal parts then you look at the surya do the surya namaskara then you sing a bhajan the first song yes for you even to speak to somebody else and then you light the lamp kattil in the bulk in the tamasoma jyoti gyame the house is lit all the viruses run away you open the windows for the eastern sunlight to fall inside you make sure that every pillow which is a part of your life when you're sleeping you take it out and keep it in the sunlight otherwise night when you sleep you start the first attack on your body so it is the cause they say every change in nature is caused by something every effect has a cause so if you are affected by a sickness it has got a cause you have not kept your pillows and your bed in the sunlight every day every day you have not kept the windows open when you went to sleep you kept the windows closed you put the blanket above your head no 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 you cannot cover your face with your blanket because just to breathe and if there are trees or other things near your window you trim it up for the wind to flow in all this other they say it can also be expressed as every effect has got a cause the next day shakuji gave an order through the chief monk to prepare to attend the funeral of a monk no one was sick in the infirmary wondered the monks what does our teacher mean once he had understood he became enlightened that is people who have been following the temples and the ashrams for years together now the present generation not when kashyapa buddha was there kashyapa buddha just preaches and then he practices along with them after the preaching immediately immediately after the morning satsang the guruji then the manand ji to shudranand ji now this monks in india they all sit in the brahmanand ji's post thinking that is got something to do now the saints in india the swamijis in india the monks in india they believe once they sat on the on the on the chair and everybody goes touches their feet they think they have become brahman and they jim in they became very close to god they are not brahma no 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 you can become brahma only for that particular time of his satsang balance 90% of the time you have to become shudran and the jim means down on the earth where the god resides that is where the feet touches and pe- people touches your feet means you have to go back to the you have to use the feet to work on the on the field the moment you sit on the ch- chair you become diseased you have pulled in a lot of people around you and you have destroyed their family ashrams have destroyed their family churches have destroyed i don't know about churches and the masjid and all let me talk about our ashrams are pulling a lot a huge amount of children into them already the children has been destroyed by the misbehavior of the parents or the unconscious behavior of the parents or the slaved mind of the parents or the greedy mind of the parents who have disconnected the family and the joint family and the family tree and from there they have having no love to go back to the parents because they know in the parents they have nothing they have not got love 